Whether you are a beginner or an experienced user, one of the characteristics you may like in this 6-inch Virtuoso telescope is the portability. That's why I decided to grab the telescope and go with my family to a darker site. I have some business to do in another city and I will take the opportunity to test how the things go with this telescope. The weather forecast will be a huge problem, but I have to try it anyway. Now let's go upstairs to the observatory to prepare the telescope. These spacers and filters I will not use. I have the camera, the ZWO 294 prepared to the 6 inch with a infrared cut filter and the barlow here. It will be here protected. Then I have the pen to clean if any accident, the charger to the power bank, focal reducer, the adapter, the flashlight, and the zoom eyepiece. You have the links of all my materials at the description. And I will also take my laptop with me with the charger. Another advantage of this small and wonderful telescope is that it has good optics. The parabolic mirror is a professional mirror of 6 inch diameter and it's already at a level required to have nice views of the sky. And now let's see if I can fit everything into the car. And here it comes, our hero. Unscrew the knobs, trying to fit it better. The sweet case. Now let's try to protect it to avoid vibrations. The jacket can help. And also this bag. Another excellent feature this telescope has is the go-to, which means not only you can search for objects automatically, but also it will track the sky. And doing that, it will allow you to take pictures with your telescope. You can do astrophotography with it and also EAA, which is what we usually do to watch any object in the sky in real time, without the cumbersome of having to wait for a picture. And please, before falling, in the mistake often people make to believe that you can't do astrophotography with a Dobsonian telescope, check these pictures I took so far with only this small telescope and an astro camera. The Dumbbell Nebula. Beautiful. This is Neptune. Small but wonderful. The Andromeda Galaxy. Messier 31 The Bubble Nebula The Fireworks Galaxy A hard galaxy to capture My favorite, the Helix Nebula Look at these colors Jupiter Planet with a 5x focal extender Mars Also with a 5x focal extender with a bad night scene The Moon Saturn, with its rings. The Saturn Nebula, a planetary nebula that resembles the planet. The colorful Trifid Nebula. Uranus Planet, and much more to come during our live streams. 
and we are arriving our destination with donkeys. Beautiful. We have decided to rent a small country house in a Bortal for Sky. It looks good, no? Let's get in. Let's see. The living room. The bedroom. Kitchenette. Sofa bed. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go outside. Shh, shh, shh. Listen. The donkeys. No light pollution, only the pool, which is not a problem. Just a few soft LED lights. This is Jupiter. We can barely see it. Too many clouds on the sky. Oh, I hope that tomorrow will be better. We'll see. Of course, one of the limitations many people have when buying a telescope is the price. However, this is also an advantage of this telescope. It's really a bang for the buck to start enjoying astronomy at a low price. But if you want to do astrophotography with it, of course you just need to buy a camera. Oh, bad luck today. Raining a lot. I will keep my hope and positiveness. But it's not easy. I could use this table for the telescope. Although at home I usually use it, place it on the ground. The reason for that is because I have an 18 inch Dobsonian telescope and also a 12 inch Dobsonian telescope. So this one I use it more for the portability, the biggest advantage it has. However, it can be placed over a table just for a quick visual session with the kids and for that we don't even need the go-to. We can use the point and track feature or even as is, manually. The use of this shroud and teflon tape in the focuser as long as other mods are important and I have a video about it. And now the day after, again the rain. I'm really with bad luck. Nothing to do against the nature. But we will come back to this place. Hopefully with better weather of course. Maybe I will place the telescope near the pool. I can sit at the borders. Well, again, fit everything in the car and say goodbye to the donkeys. At least the portability is confirmed. Now click on this video over here if you want to know more about this telescope.